snacks. These are my snacks. Snacks! Hi, I'm Eric. I'm the general manager for the Spruce Eats. I am a dad of three. Today, we are going to taste the best Trader Joe's kid snacks. I'm gonna take you through my 10 favorite snacks. And I'm gonna give you a rating on coolness, easiness, nutritiousness. So I'm gonna taste them and then my kids are gonna taste them. I <laughs> wanna eat it. So let's get at it. They are not the most nutritious thing you could give your kids. They all do have a lot of sugar. It needs a beverage if you're gonna eat it. I mean, I'm sure a kid will just shove the whole thing in their mouth and then do that thing where they chew and they chew and they chew and you feel like they're gonna choke, but then they're fine. On easiness scale, five being the easiest, this one is pretty much a five. I mean, it comes individually wrapped. You could drop it in your pantry, drop it in a lunchbox. On the coolness factor, five being you're the most popular kid on the playground, it's probably like a two, cause every kid knows about this. Five being the most nutritious, I'm gonna give this a three. So they are getting some vitamin C out of eating this thing. I like it. You like it? I like it. I like it, it's good. Just put it in my lunchbox. Emma, would you put this in your lunchbox? Yeah. I am really excited about this one. They're like, what are those long skinny cookies called? I don't remember their names. You know, they're the long skinny chocolate ones. If you remember the name of those cookies that I can't think of the name of, please let us know in the comments below. This, how can this be bad? Let's see. I mean, this, this, this is a peanut butter and jelly. It's so like, it's just a little bit of crunch. I gotta like crunchy peanut butter. For easiness, I give this guy a five because they'll put it in the recycling when they're at school and then I don't have a mess to clean up. I think they're pretty cool. Like it is, it's like the perfect sort of peanut butter and jelly vessel in snack form. In the nutritiousness, we're gonna go right down the middle on this one and give it a three. This is 100% pure kid snack. I would definitely have this in my lunchbox. It's good. I'll put it in your lunchboxes. Yay! When you go back to school in three months. Okay. <laughs> A mixed bag, so they've got salt and vinegar, barbecue chips, ketchup flavored, dill flavored, and they're all mixed together so you never know what you're gonna get. The flavors of summer. I'm gonna have to stay true to form and give this one a three because I do have to put this into another container. Most kids, like, they're not gonna think you're that cool for having potato chips. I'm gonna give it a three because visually, like, yeah, how's a kid gonna know how amazing these taste? For myself, I have to give them a one because I would eat the whole bag, but for my kids, I think this is like a three or a four. These are a fine, acceptable, semi not bad for you snack. Well, I like these. I'd have these in my lunch. They're very tasty. They'll live in my lunch, but not the best. <laughs> Mini, mint, ice cream, mouthfuls. I know in advance that these are gonna be good because I've probably eaten about 100 of them in my lifetime. I mean, if we're talking about kids' school lunches, it's a zero. You cannot give this to your kid for a school lunch. We can't rate this on the playground factor because like your kid is just trading a pile of melted ice cream. They're cool, ha ha ha, because they're ice cream. I think I'll give them a two on the nutritious scale. It's like a giant frozen Oreo, except ice cream. Sweetened, dried orange slices. A lot of sugar. I think it's worth it, it's worth it. I mean, I guess I want everything individually wrapped, which maybe is not that practical, but I'm gonna give it a three. Coolness, now this, I think it depends on how cool your kid's friends are. If they're willing to try it, they're gonna love it. So I'm gonna give it a four. It's got all the nutrition of an orange slice, so it's got, it's high in vitamin C, it's got all the vitamins, but it is pretty high in added sugar. I mean, it's really good. Would you want that in your lunchbox? Uh, it's not really. Uh, no. Well, it's not really. too dry. For kids, I imagine this is all about dunking in milk. Unless your kids drink coffee, but whatever. They can do whatever they want. It looks like a banana. Perfect for dunking. I think it's gonna be really good if it was dipped in milk. I will have to put this in a Ziploc bag and then yada, yada, yada. If your kid is on the playground with these, and some milk, like every kid is gonna want one and dip it in there. Um, I'd give it a four. And then nutritious factor, it's just a plain old cookie. So I give it a two. Whoa. It's good? Really good. Trader Joe's Chipotle Black 
bean dip. Oh no. I can't do it. Here, can we just pretend like I'm gonna open it? Cause yeah. I feel real weak. Don't worry, we'll make you look strong if you get it. So easy to open. Kids who are willing to sort of explore flavors a little bit will really like it, but it's not spicy. Not only do I have to put this into a different container, but I also have to give a, another container for dip worthy things. I'm gonna give it a three. I don't think that this brown dip is cool at all. I'm probably gonna give it a two. No kid is trading this high in protein. It's got a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna give this a four in nutrition. It's kind of spicy a little bit. If it wasn't that spicy, then I think I would have liked it a lot more. I don't want it in my lunchbox. I do. You didn't even try it. No, this. Oh, you want carrot in your lunchbox? You know what, those are really good. Let's say, you know what, these aren't even a three, these are probably a two because your kid really needs a napkin with these two or else they're gonna be cheese puff hand kid. You're probably not the coolest kid on the playground if you have these. Probably a two or a three. Also, they don't really have sugar. They don't really have too much fat. So like, they're a good, a good snack, like a good hold you over kid snack. No, they're maybe not lying when they say world's puffiest. I would eat it in my lunchbox, but I would not say this is the world's puffiest cheese food. <laughs> dried apricots. They are not the most exciting thing, but the thing about dried fruit that's really good is that it's sweet and it's healthy. I have a feeling my kids might eat these, but they're not gonna be like, yay, dad, thanks for giving us dried apricots. You're the best dad ever. That's not gonna happen. I don't know if that's ever happened. Well, oh, that's depressing. I'm gonna give it a three. On a scale of one to five for coolness factor, it's definitely a one. Like you wanna trade this on a playground, you're going to be laughed off the playground. For nutritious, I'd say it's a four. It's like, it's pretty low in sugar and it's got a lot of fiber. It's got vitamins. It speaks to me in a way, and it smells really good, so let's taste it. In terms of easiness, this ding, 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 this one's a five, right? It comes out of the package, it goes in your kid's lunchbox. These are pretty easy to trade, and I bet there are kids who would definitely be interested. And then in terms of nutritious, like, it's just fruit and fruit juice, so I'm gonna give it a four, too. Like, this is a pretty good snack for a kid to have every day in their lunchbox. My kid's favorite, I mean, I think probably if I was a betting man, I probably should have bet on it, is the fruit walks into a bar. My favorite is a toss up between these oranges, which I was so surprised, they are so good. And I look forward to them in a cocktail tonight. And these um, patio potato chips, which I've loved since Trader Joe's came out with them. Do you have a favorite Trader Joe's snack for kids that we have not mentioned? Please let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to the Spruce Eats. Bye.